Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. You did it. You made it. I'm pissed right now. You're pissed? I am. Wow, dude. I'm a little mad. Welcome to the show. I'm mad. No. TNT no, 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 no. We, We're not going to subvert my anger. We're not going to I'm welcoming you to the show. I don't want to be welcomed. Don't Hurry fuck, up and do your intro, because I know you aren't going to rest until the intro gets out. Get the intro out so I can tell everybody why no. I'm pissed. Get, no, get your intro. I do it. I don't want to do it. No, do it. <laughs> I know. I know you love, your, you love your intro. I don't even know what that is. Go. All right. Fuck it, then. Why the fuck is Kanye West really running for president, Jonas? Uh, why is this actually a thing? Is it real? Listen to what I just read. Now, it is currently... I don't even know what the date is. Today's the... the it's the 19th, 19th. God damn it. Kanye West announced his first presidential campaign event in South Carolina. He's really doing it. I read the other day, Jonas, is that the polls came out for the week and Kanye West had a 2%. 2% in the polls. Then he goes to his Twitter and he tweets out a picture of Mount Rushmore and says, I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. The Mount Rushmore had his face next to one of the presidents, Jonas, and he said, I'm doing it. Um, How do you feel about this, Jonas? It is a very fragile time in this country's history. Yeah, if we go from Trump to Kanye. We aren't going to go from Trump to Kanye. No, no, no. I don't even, I don't even mean, but, but what I mean by that <laughs> is to, to go to two non-political presidents in a row. Uh, two un mm. two non politicians in a yes, row. Yes, you know, I, they could whoever they Trump and Kanye are rel un relevant. Yeah, too unpolitical because they don't have any politic any, background. Yes. in a row could be a very bad thing for our country. Yes. Okay, but I don't think we're going to go to Kanye. My point is that it provides a distraction from the, what is essentially one of the two men who are either a Democratic or Republican, one of those two are going to win. Right. Because that's the way it always goes. Right. Now, we can look back in history. I, I don't know if a uh, is a, if an independent's ever won. Maybe no. once? You know? I mean, way, if, if, if it is, it's, <clears throat> it's way back before, like, the... the Lobbyists. <laughs> yeah, like, the Democrat Republic. Like, once... Because, I mean, way back in the beginning of our country... It wasn't Democrat Republican. There was all sorts of little parties and stuff like. But once we affirmed Democrat Republican, period, and moved forward from that. Well, I, yeah, like, like I said, I'm not sure. I feel like a dark horse may have won one time. Not 100 percent positive. I don't think Kanye West is going to win. Yeah, I saw that. I read to you the like last week when I should have brought this up. I'm sorry again. It's hard when shit's developing. Uh. That when it came out to about the coronavirus vaccine, he was asked a question about that. And he said, that is the devil. They want to put that. That's the mark of the beast. And only so many people are getting into heaven. That's the man you want for president, dude? That's just not the way you answer that goddamn question. Like, <laughs> that's, that's not. I get it, man. Like, I can even understand where he was going. But most people are going to be like, you sound nuts. It's just, it's very, uh, yeah. very disconcerting to me. I'm not a political person, all right? Well, the... But it is very, very disconcerting Well, yeah, to me. because uh, who do you think Kanye's going to pull votes from, Trump or Biden? Both? If you had to guess, if Kanye's going to pull <laughs> more votes... I don't have a dog in this race, all right? I, I mean, yeah, right. I don't have a dog in this race, so... Yeah, dude. Sure? I don't yeah. know. It's, uh... Well, I guess my question is, there's... there's I've, I've heard rumblings on the interwebs that, you know, Kanye and Trump are boys. Well, at, least, at least he used to be. You mean the fact that he wore a MAGA hat and said he was like a father to him? Yeah, you know, those sort of things. With his fucking Apple phone out with a code that was 0000. zero, zero, zero. <laughs> but, uh, I know what but you're there's talking people about. out there saying, you know, you know, that Trump and Kanye are close. Is, is anything behind it like him pushing for president to try to take vote away from Biden so Trump has a better chance to win? That's what people, that's like the interwebs are, because like for Kanye to come out and out of nowhere here two months or three months before the vote and be like, hey, I'm running for president. I mean, he said this before, like two years back at a concert. 
and everybody just kind of thought he was joking like, about Yay! it. So he said this at a concert. It was like just one of his monologues that he goes off on when he starts talking about all this astrological sign and God above us and yeah. the heaven and the earth and stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with believing that. Yeah. Either way, he did it at a concert. Everybody kind of thought it was a joke. It even made it on social media. It was discussed. And then it kind of went away. Then recently, when he came out and said slavery was a choice, ha 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 ha, um, <laughs> vote for him. So when he said slavery was a choice, uh, he made another comment about how he was not joking about that shit that he had said at this at this concert. Now that he's on this manic binge, because there's a little bit of manic depression well, he, here. He gets he gets manic. He's had issues where he had to like. Yeah. They say his family has been saying bipolar. To me, it looks a little bit more manic depressive because he has like the lows and these highs where he's just like, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. He's up. He can do whatever he wants. Fine. Yeah. Fucking do it. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it is, it, it, he suffers from the very low lows and the very high highs. Yes. But I, it, it's, it's the similar thing to like. Well, uh, just who's getting in this guy's head? Like when we were talking about Childish, Ga Childish Gambino and how he just like, I'm going to do this tonight. I'm going to do a gospel concert when I come out here tonight. Everybody's going to love it because everybody loves me. Yo, fam, you just a human. All right. Right, right. I why, don't, I'm why not, do you have a church choir with you? <laughs> like, yeah. Like when we say. Me and you, Jonas, when we say, yo, I should have run for president, I swear, man, I'd be a good president because I wouldn't be mean to people. I'd know exactly. We're just talking shit, but we ain't got a billion dollars to work with. Right. If one of us had a, a couple million dollars to work with, I'm not putting Bloomberg money up, but I'm going to put some right. money up. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll take a quarter of my life savings and just see if I can make this president thing work. It's like going to improv. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah. just like taking a little class. I'll just go take, take a presidential class. class. Yeah, dude. What is it going to cost me? Two, 250 million? Pfft, do it. Let's go. Yeah, right. I'll make All that right. back when my album drops. Yeah. <laughs> or my clothing line hits. I mean, I'm, dude, I'm down. Mm, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Kanye. Yeah. You don't you really talk out about people very often unless it really hits you. Dude, it just bothers me is because like Kanye was a part of us growing up, man, and he was he was influential and he used to be an advocate for for uh for the culture and now it's just kinda like I don't know. He's been well, rich like, for too long. Affluenza has taken over. Yeah, he well, I mean like yeah, like that first album he put out. I'm not no. I'm not talking about the good shit. No. No, but I mean, but what well, I'm saying, he came from like if you look at like his first album, what he came out with, what he was talking about, what he was before he got real big to now. Yeah. It is like who is this man? Exactly. Like it's but definitely this, who's is... going to be his vice president, Jay Z. <laughs> if he, no, if, Jay, if he, dude, if Jay he doesn't ran, even talk to him anymore. If, if he ran a ticket and it was and he was the the the, the president and he got somebody like Jay Z to be his VP, Jonas. you think he could pull some votes? <laughs> Him, Jay Z being his his uh, fucking vice president is tone deaf because Jay Z don't fuck with him. Jay Z has been dealing with Con Kanye way closer than the rest of us have, and if we're at this point now vicariously, you can only imagine how somebody that used to deal with him on the day to day, work with him on the day to day, did an album with him. He's probably like, I'm so done. <laughs> right? Dude. He's like, he's like, yeah, yeah. I talked to him in a few months. <laughs> Look, but I don't want to get into the fucking uh, the high school bullshit that is. Breaking Kanye, Jay Z, Kanye. He's unqualified, a hundred percent. Whether we like to think, believe it or not, I don't feel like a lot of people are qualified to be president. No, they're not. It's, it's a an, very, very important job. It's a very stressful job. It's a very important job. It, it takes a certain. It takes a certain mindset. You cannot have someone who is bipolar or manic depressive in charge of our nuclear options. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong if you have a mental problem that, or a mental health issue. More power to you to get it corrected. More power for you for being you. But you should not be in charge of nuclear options. Yes. I mean, that's... And I just don't, I don't think that you can be an egomaniac and be a president either. Yeah. Because then it becomes about molding the country in your image versus molding the country in the image that the people hmm. desire. Sounds kind of familiar. I'm not trying to, trying to I'm not something? shooting this is not a sub. I'm not shooting subliminals at anybody. It's in the sub. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, I agree a thousand percent. Like everything a president does should be in the interest of the country. Yes. The people. The people. 
Right. The our people country's who, image, the people of our country, all that. You're taxing the people to pay for everything that this country has provided you in your office. Yeah, we get to talk shit about you doing a job. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, we get to talk shit about you doing it. Guess what? We paying for you. So if we're not happy, if I'm not happy with my doctor, guess what? I need a new doctor. This guy is incompetent. I need a new doctor. I'm not paying this doctor any more money. All right. If I'm unhappy with my service at a restaurant, no, 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 no. Give me a new, give me a new steak. This or one's, this I'm not one's overdone. Back to this restaurant. Thank you. So just like any job that you work at home or that we work right now, if you don't like this podcast, get, 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 please like it more. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, share it with somebody that's what America's who might. built on is choice, man. Choice and freedom, dude. Yeah, but people get into office, you know, and they start just doing what they want. They're like, well, this yeah, is what's I, it's it's worth what versus what the people want versus what's best for the people. They need this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's and or I think, need. This. I think at the core, that is one of the biggest problems of our country at the moment is that people get into Whoa. office with agendas instead of just getting into office to help the country and help the, or even even at the city level. Yeah. You don't get in a city in city government to make the city push your agenda. You get into city government to make the city better. Mm -hmm. You get into a state government to make the state better. You get into a federal government to try to make the federal government, the federal entity be better. Yeah. But they all get in and they owe people money because they've donated to their campaigns and they have owe favors and they got friends and they got, it's like. I think it's just kind of sad the way that we as human beings just tend to pervert everything that we touch. Like it, something so something so pure as voting democratically for your leader has turned into something so perverted and just not even what it was, and, not even what it should be. Well, and, and it goes with anything that's a big issue. Um, you know what I mean? Even as simple <clears> as like but with capitalism like, is the same way. Yeah, I mean, even it, if it's something as simple as like coronavirus and wearing a mask, people are oh, like, Jesus, they, no, we're not talking about coronavirus. No, I just, but I'm just saying it's like the same thing with that. And they pervert anything. Yes, anything yes, is yes, like, yes, oh, yes, if yes, I do this, yes. I'm this. If I don't do this, I'm this. Like it's yeah, just, but like, like I said, capitalism started out with, hey, you've got some corn, I've got some rice. Here, here's a trade, and now it's to the point where. It is just the most perverted thing. Like you gotta, you gotta get your commercials out at a certain point in time. You can't say anything mean on social media. Everything is, it's just. I, I don't not happy about it, Jonas. Do not vote for Kanye. I'm wow, just, yes, you are my first political statement on this podcast, Jonas. Do not vote for Kanye West. <laughs> I, I will vote tell you, for somebody else. I will tell you that that is what I will be not doing. And, and God damn it, do not vote for me because I would just fuck it up too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, my heart might be in the right place, but believe me, I I need at least six hours of Xbox. <laughs> you <laughs> won't like, see listen, me at the golf course. Like, listen, listen, I can't meet with you today, Kim Jong Un. I gotta play some Overwatch real fast. <laughs> I could imagine myself playing Overwatch, talking to Kim Dude, Jong. Dude, you'll be like Kim Jong Un. Get on Xbox. We'll play some Overwatch. We'll chat real quick over Xbox Live about some stuff. Yeah. Jonas, it's going to get to that point eventually when we get the first gamer president. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I saw stuff about like uh, you know nursing homes. Like when we're old, they'll be like it'll be just be like there'll be like a switch set up with like Mario Party, yeah. and everyone will just be like playing Mario Party, and who yeah. it'll be like who has the best gaming PC in the home? Yo, <laughs> who's got the best rig? You're not even wrong. So I got well, I got some quick hits. We, Go ahead, dude. You do you. Uh, uh. I will just, there's a couple Corona related things. I know it, dude. <laughs> you can't help yourself. I just, I just talk about. <laughs> no, Rick, come on, let's go. Uh, I was a... seriously going to issue a ban on it, dude. I was going to make an executive <laughs> decision that we were not going to talk about the goddamn coronavirus anymore. But go uh, ahead. No, just quick hits because I talk about humanity, dude. A uh, woman peed in a store because she couldn't be in there without a mask. Fair enough. So that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the story. A woman, there was a Verizon store. They told her she couldn't be in there without a mask. She peed on the floor. Yo, that's great. So, uh, so after you went off on your big tangent about how I always talk about Corona, that's that was the story I had to talk about. Um, uh, another thing is there's rumors about that they that uh, that part of the reason that uh, some areas were not pushing masks sooner than others is because they were saying the governments were saying that the 
masks fuck with the facial recognition software and that that's why they are, don't want people to wear masks is because they can't identify them with their facial recognition. Uh, New, York, New York has a ban on masks bef- prior to this. Yeah. You couldn't wear it. Okay, and I'm pretty sure uh, parts of California as well. Because, like, if you're wearing a mask, you, you, you rob, who are you trying to rob? Right. Why are well, you yeah, and that, and that was the mindset in our country before. It was like, if you walk into a store with a mask on, you're up to no good. Right. You're hiding your face. Right. Well, and, but then in, like, Asian countries, they've been doing it forever. Yeah. So they, you know, they got, like, the whole issue, though. With yeah. there being, like, a billion people on top of each other yeah, at all times. True. Yeah, We're a little more spread out. <clears throat> um, the uh, Toronto Blue Jays, the baseball team. Canada has, has issued that they cannot play their home games in Toronto because they do not want Americans flying into play. Ah, I love it. You know, and honestly, though, when you said Toronto Blue Jays, I was like, is that what the Washington Redskins are doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of the Washington Redskins, did you hear there's a huge scandal that, like, they were super sexual harassing employees and pimping out cheerleaders and shit? Really? There was a... I read a story. I don't know the exact. But that, that was like that's kind of what it is. But there was a thing that the coach mm. was bang. Like there was a there was a quarterback for Washington that got injured really bad. It was like one of those like bone through the skin injuries. Um, <clears throat> he w- and kind of like how this all came about is like the coach was supposedly fucking a secretary. <laughs> Sounds pretty par for the course. Um, there was also a player who was fucking the secretary. Like, a, like, like, a, like a lower end running back sort of thing. Yeah. Rumor is coach found out that, that the player was fucking the secretary too, benched him. <sighs> the player that filled in for that player was the guy who missed the block, who then caused the quarterback got sacked and got that nasty injury. So he sat a player for non-player reasons, and then the quarterback got injured because a less talented player was in the game. Ooh, it was all a part of this diabolical right. plan. Right, but I guess like that running back injured. had the coach's son on Instagram Live, and they were talking about it. He was nah. telling the coach's son about this whole. In- or so, it was. I was like, I am not reading into that. Wow. It's two days of our lives for me. That's that's the Washington Redskins. Yeah, and that oh, happens yeah. on the Washington. And, oh, yeah, yeah, they, they got to change the name now. Yeah, huh? right. They knew this shit was coming. They're like, how can we save face? We're gonna be the Washington Blue Jays. <laughs> They're gonna be the Washington uh, Peace Rainbows. Uh, let's see here. Uh, All right, well that's oh, cool. Th- so th- the NFL has has a rule about injured reserve. So like, if you if a player gets hurt, they can go in. It used to be if they want an injured reserve, they were gone forever for yeah. the season. Then they they recently changed it that if you have an injury that isn't like um, super serious, but you need a few weeks to, re- you can go an injured reserve temporarily. And come back. And you can do that with like one or maybe two players a season. Because they're limited on roster size. Well, now with Corona, they are... How they're handling the potential of a coronavirus infection during the NFL season is that if a player tests positive, they immediately have to go in injury reserve for three weeks. To to quarantine and whatever. But essentially... What is going to happen is this is just going to be a cycle of fucking players on this on these teams. <laughs> like I can't imagine what. So like they're talking about doing indefinite amounts of injured reserve. So if you get sick, you can go off and come back and da 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 da. But like so, what it sounds like to me, and this is kind of what fucks me up, is it's like we're going to have the season no matter who the fuck is on the team, <clears throat> because if y'all get sick. We're going to pull you out. And we're going to throw some other motherfuckers in there. There's enough people out there who know how to play football. We're going to make it work. Yeah, we'll make so, it work. Make it work until it doesn't. Right. So it's basically. gonna be like starts out Baker Makefield out here on the on the <laughs> on the field. They're like, well, Baker Makefield sick. All right, we're gonna throw Johnny Smith in as quarterback. Up, oh, Johnny Smith is sick. Up, oh, let's bring in Tony Smith. He's in here now. Are like, those, just gonna are be those the real like, backup quarterbacks for. The, for I have no idea who the backup is for the yeah. Browns right now. But like, it's just a. Uh, it's just gonna. It's gonna be weird, dude. Like, it'll be nah, like, oh, dude, because yeah. they said something like they already have seventy two players. Who have it? There's only what's fifty three times thirty, fifteen hundred. There's only fifteen hundred players total, and if seventy of them already have it, that's already almost a percent. If I were a player, I would probably not want to do it. I mean, I guess it depends on if I was well off enough, but I I wouldn't want to take the chance to be honest. Well, and I see there's NBA players that have been opting out. Oh yeah, 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 because they have children, they have families too. Some of them take care of their elderly. Mothers or grandmothers yeah, or dude, whatever. I'm trying to think because I knew one that he d- actually did. Like his mother with Alzheimer's stayed with him or some shit. 
Um, truth, not facts, by the way, for any of this. Um, but it's you know it's it's a risk. It's a risk that like is it risk? Is it worth it going for your job, especially if you're already like a millionaire, my dude? Just just sit me down for a season. But then it's getting to the point where are they going to consider you furloughed? Are they going to consider you injured reserved? There was the uh, breach of contract. Like there was the WNBA player who she says that she takes like 62 pills a day. She had, I want to say Lyme disease. She was immunocompromised and they were basically telling her that she'd be cut from the team if she didn't, if she didn't play. They're like, Hey, we're playing. So you either get out here or you're gone. And it's like WNBA players, it's not paying as well as an NBA. Right, right. Or they, they are MLB. making millions of dollars. Yeah, or MLB. Maybe the top five players are making a million dollars. But so, like, yeah. so she's kind of in a, in a lurch there. And But she's like, I can't believe. And she's just trying to raise awareness about it. You have to look more into this one yourself. Yeah, I didn't really yeah, do any it's, research. It's, um, but well, and the same that's with crazy. WF, too. They're like, they, the people, they're like they, they've said that if people want to sit home, they can. And there's no repercussion. But here's the problem with any of those industries. They're going to pay you. I think. I think so. But here. But here's well, the problem with any of those industries. Deal. It's all about what have you done for me lately. So if like, so if like quarterback, say Patrick Mahomes, he won't because he's just made half a billion dollar contract. Say he's like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Well, he's also probably not the right person to talk about. Somebody who's like, say, middle tier quarterback. He's like, you know what? I don't feel safe. My mom lives with me. She's immunocompromised. I'm gonna sit this year out. Then. Troy Jones comes in and plays. Troy Jones lights it the fuck up. You got a job? No. You, you, you a running back. You sit out a season, someone comes in and blows it up. They're going to stay with a hot hand, dude. You ain't played for a year. You're out of football shape. Like, it's, if you That's aren't. That's fair, too. In the, like, wrestlers. If you're not on TV and doing whatever, you're, you're not in the know. Your, your merchandise sales go down. If they bring some random dude on TV, his merch sales blow up. Guess what? He's got a TV spot now. That's fair. That's it's so it's like it's not only your health it's like am i gonna lose my spot it's a very it's a highly competitive but yeah industry. yeah that's fair but that, you know that kind of goes with 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 all jobs if, if oh, yeah. you don't show up the day that the job sure sure you can stay home yeah but if somebody takes your position right yeah. as good as you think you are if someone steps into your job and even does it at 85 percent your level you're at risk, man, because they can pay you less. They can pay that person less than they're paying you and get almost the same amount of production. Yeah, and they don't give a fuck about their health. Right. <laughs> or their family. <laughs> right. So, they don't give a shit. Yeah, dude. It's just it's just crazy that uh it, it's just it's it's just you know. So it's it's I just thought that was interesting because it's yeah. just, the, like the NFL season is just gonna it's just gonna be like Ideally, hope I hope that everything's fine and everyone's great, and I get to watch football. I want to watch football. Believe nah, me. Nah, you don't. Why don't I want to watch football? I don't know, man. Do you really want to watch something? You you just had the whole thing about sugar on the last podcast. We realized that if something it may be delicious, it may be palatable. Yeah, it ain't always what's best. Well, for you. but yeah, that's true. And I think also by people, <laughs> this ain't what's good. But for I us, think man. by people watching it, it enables the owners and the people to show that it's just the same thing. It's, it kind of goes back to my like, if you're gonna spend money on avatars, um, clothes for your avatar, it only tells Microsoft that's awesome that we we're making clothes for avatars because people are going to buy it for no and they're going to have no tangible product anymore. sure so it's like if you watch the nfl and their ratings are high people are going to oh, they're going to be like oh well, we did the right thing it's going to be the only new media we get jonas because they're not making movies right now right boy i can't wait to see that new kevin hart movie heart attack or some shit i don't even Is know it's him in his kitchen <laughs> no it's something die hard heart attack um, heart on the open range or some bullshit. He's a cowboy. He's a cop. He's an action star. I'm tired of it. Sounds nothing. Awful. Nothing's gonna be out. I can't see Tenant. There hasn't been a Marvel movie in months, Jonas. I can't tell you. It's summertime, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I'm normally it's normally when movies are popping. What? No, right? But no, dude, no series. But dude, when Corona ends, there's gonna be a movie. There's gonna be movie fire, dude. All all the movies are gonna get wrapped up. There's it's gonna be like whatever. You probably 2023. <laughs> 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 movies Truth are gonna facts. be like truth, boom, not facts. Boom, 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 boom. No, not about when the Corona ends, but like. <laughs> 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 no, 
<laughs> no, no, I mean, because by the time Corona ends and then they finish filming and then they put out the movies, it'll probably be a couple years because yeah. they got to finish filming. It'll be about 2030. Movies. Yeah. Before. Uh, all of a sudden, dude, it's going to be like movie, 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 movie. Mm. It's going to be good. Last <laughs> thing before we end, I was I saw a thing on Reddit and I, it, it took me to Advil's website. Per Advil, the, the ibuprofen's website, do you know that 5% of the population is, never has a headache in their life? Really? Yeah, I was like, because what the statement said was 95% of all adults will experience a headache in their lifetime, which by deductive reasoning means that 5% don't. And I'm like, wow. I, I don't get tons of headaches, but like, could you I imagine did. your whole life never having one? And then you're like 50 and you get your first one. That you probably be, think you're dying. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be really, really cool. Um, Yeah. I don't know. That's that's interesting information. Yeah, well, but just imagine, like, if you've never had one your whole life and then you get one and you're like 50, you probably really think you're dying. <laughs> Why does my head hurt? Right, exactly. I'm dude. hearing voices. Right. Well, it's just like people who, like, they never get, like, an ingrown toenail or something, and then they're, like, grown and they get one and they're like, this is the worst. And you're like, dude, this is just an ingrown toenail. And they're like, Why does it hurt so bad? And you're like... You've never had an ingrown toenail in your life? Right? Or those people who get who get herpes for the first time. They're like, where is this on my dick? And I'm like, it's just herpes, dude. Chill. Yeah, yeah dude. Just like that. So, Go all right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, uh, this guy, he is on uh, Twitch. Oh, yeah. Spotify, iTunes, YouTube channels, Crazy Time Media. We go. didn't get to at the beginning. All right, go ahead. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day. You know you want some of this. You know you want so it. <laughs> you're, you're, you have eight catchphrases. Yeah, you better have a billion TNT of them. Dynamite, you know you want some of this. You know you want some, girl. Come <laughs> see me live on Twitch, 10 o'clock a.m. every single uh, day. Jesus. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. No, you want it.